Hello friends, welcome to the channel Solution. Today, in this video, we will demonstrate you about the lead acetate test, which is one of the chemical identification tests for protein. Lead acetate test is the specific identification test for those protein which have sulfur containing amino acids like cysteine, methionine. So let's know how lead acetate test is performed to identify any protein sample containing sulfur. So let's start. First of all, we will take a test tube. Then we have to add 2 ml of the test solution. Then we have to add 2 ml of 40% NUS solution in the test tube. After adding NUS solution, then add 0.5 ml of lead acetate solution in the same test tube. And here, the concentration of the lead acetate solution is 20%. After adding lead acetate solution into the test tube, then boil the content of the test tube on the boiling water bath. You can see here the color of the content of test tube turns to brownish to black color means black to brown color precipitate form in the test tube. It means in our protein sample sulfur containing amino acid is present. Then next principle of this lead acetate test is that sulfur containing amino acid consists of sulfhydryl group or thiol group. And this sulfhydryl or thiol group of amino acid react with the lead acetate which we have added in the alkaline condition. For alkaline condition, we have added NaOS solution. After this, black to brown color precipitate form. So what actually happened in this reaction? The sulfur containing amino acid degrade in the strongly alkaline condition and then release sulfide ion in the form of hydrogen sulfide. And this sulfide ion then react with the lead acetate to form brown to black color precipitate of lead sulfide. So this is the principle of lead acetate. So to perform this test, we can take sample of protein solution like egg albumin because egg albumin which is a protein which have sulfur containing amino acid. Means after separating and collecting the white portion of the egg, then dilute the egg albumin with the water to make the solution and perform the lead acetate test and black to brown color precipitate form. And if in our sample no black to brown color precipitate form after performing the lead acetate test, it means in our sample sulfur containing amino acid is absent or you can say sulfur containing amino acid is absent in the given protein sample. So this is all about lead acetate test. Thank you very much for watching this video.